Hey, what's happening guys? I've got an easy little Arduino project for you today. This is the Arduino parking assistant or parking sensor. You can call it whatever you want. You only need a couple of parts for it. So you're going to need an Arduino. In this case, I'm using an Uno R3, but you could use a Nano or anything you want. It really doesn't matter. Next up, we have an ultrasonic sensor. This is the HCSR04. These are everywhere. Then we have this little parking light looking doohickey. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. You can just use three LEDs. Works exactly the same. And finally, we have a buzzer. This is not the correct type of buzzer. This is a standard piezo buzzer. So you're gonna hear it make some clicks. But what you want is a type of buzzer when you apply a voltage to it, it goes Bzzz. I don't have one of those, so we have to make do with this. Now, the connections in here are pretty easy, and we'll go over them again when we get to the uh, looking over the program data, how the program works. But I'll give you a real quick overview here so you understand what's going on. So the uh, we'll start with the H HR. I always say this wrong. HCSR04. Let's just call it the ultrasonic sensor. We'll start with the ultrasonic sensor. Okay. So it has four connections. You can see them right here, and they're labeled VCC, trigger, echo, and ground. So VCC goes to VCC. The ground goes to ground. Next, we have our trigger pin. That's this white wire here, and it goes to pin 9. Then this blue wire is our echo pin, and it goes to pin 8. Now, pin 7 here is the VCC or the positive voltage going to our buzzer which then goes directly to ground. Then we have our um, our LED uh, stoplight here. It has a ground connection and then the green pin goes to 2, the yellow pin goes to 3, and the red pin goes to pin number 4. Now you have to set the values that you're going to want in here for how close you want to park to the sensor. I've got it set real close between 4 and 25 centimeters just so, you know, I can stick my hand in front of me. You guys can see what's going on. But if you build this and you want to use it, you can adjust those numbers, and I'll show you where in the program. In fact, let's go look at the program right now. All right, so here's the code for the Arduino parking sensor. And as you can see here, whoops. No libraries are required, so that makes it easy for you to show your children or grandchildren, or even if you're, you know, just learning yourself. You don't have to worry about libraries. It's just the code here. So over here, after these slashes for all these lines, you're going to find the definition of what it does. So the first thing we do is define where the sensor is connected. The first one we have is the ultrasonic sensor. And the echo pin is on Arduino pin 8. The trigger pin is on tri pin 9. And we use the fine just so we don't have to use pin numbers. It'll, the Arduino just knows now that when I say echo, it refers to digital pin 8. And trigger refers to digital pin 9. All right. Next, we're going to tell it where the buzzer is. And the buzzer is on pin 7. These are arbitrary values, and it really doesn't matter where you put them. Next, we're going to tell it where the three LED traffic light is. If you don't have a three LED traffic light, you can just use three different color LEDs. It will all just work the same. So our LED, which is red, is on pin four. Y LED, pin three. And green LED is on pin number two. Now we're going to create a variable. And it's an integer variable, which means it's a whole number, one, two, three, four, five. You couldn't see me doing my Italian hands waving thing, but I did. And that variable is called distance underscore cm. Next, we're going to create another integer variable called flag. And we're going to set its initial value as zero. Flag is going to tell us if we're too close to the sensor and it's going to turn the buzzer on. That's all. So what this is going to do, and I'm going to show you a neat little trick with this later, the program is just going to look at this variable. If it's a zero, it's not going to turn the buzzer on. If it's a one, it is. All right, now we move down to our setup routine. 
This runs at the beginning of every Arduino program and it only runs once. Now what I like to do first of all in any program is turn on the serial communications so that I can have it output variable values or whatever I'm hoping to see. Then I can see that on the serial monitor and if there's a problem, I know which variable is not behaving as it's supposed to. Just a neat little useful trick. All right, so now we're going to set up the Arduino itself and tell it how we want the pins to be behave, whether they are input pins or output pins. And we do that with the pin mode command. So the first thing we say is pin mode. Then in parentheses, we tell it which pin. Now, you remember up top, we did that define, and we said echo is now pin number eight. So wherever we say echo, it knows it's pin number eight. So we say pin mode eight is an input. Pin mode 9 is a trigger. Pin mode 7 is an output. Pin mode uh, 9 is an output as well. <laughs> I read the wrong one. Pin mode RLED, which is 4, is an output. Pin mode yellow LED, which is 3, is an output. And pin mode green LED on pin 2 is also an output. Then we're just going to delay for about a tenth of a second to let the Arduino do all of these things. Then we get down here to our main program loop, and this is what's going to run over and over again. So the first thing we do is we're going to say distance centimeter, that's our variable that we created up here. Remember, it's a whole number variable. Distance centimeter is equal to ultrasonic read. What is that? Well, ultrasonic read is a routine we created down here, and right here. Ultrasonic read, and what it does is it just writes the trigger load, shutting off the trigger, wait. Then we turn the trigger on, so it's going to send out a pulse. We're going to wait 10 microseconds for that pulse to come back, and then we're going to create a long time variable. This is just a longer variable called time, and we're going to set it to the pulse in, so it's going to read the number of pulses coming back from the echo as high. And we're going to return that variable right there. Right here. This right here is going to return the value to distance centimeter. That's our distance. And it's equal to time divided by 28.5 divided by 2. I had to look that part up. Anyway, so now we have a, a, a value here in distance centimeter. And then we're just going to compare it. We're going to say if the distance is less than four centimeters, then we are going to change the value of the flag. And this is that neat trick I told you here. So we're saying flag, which currently has a value of zero, is equal to not flag. That's what that bang there is for. The exclamation point in programming is just called a bang. So flag equals not flag. So it was a zero. Now it's a one. Keep that in mind. And we're going to turn on the red LED and make sure the other ones are off. Now it's going to skip these because we already know what the value is. And it's going to come down here and it's going to say digital write to the buzzer, which is pin 7, the value of flag. So the Arduino will take a zero value and set that as low, or a one value and set that as high. So remember, our value is started out as zero, and now we're less than four centimeters away. So our flag equals not flag. So this flag is now equal to one, which means the buzzer will buzz. And then it's going to print these very this values to the serial port so I can watch them. Now let's say you are between four and twelve centimeters away, which is where we want to be. And you can adjust these variables, these numbers right here, to put your parking wherever you want. Then in this case, we're going to turn on the yellow LED, and we have also reset flag to zero. Now, if we're too far away, between 12 and 25 centimeters, we're going to turn on the green light and also set the flag to zero. And then finally, that's the else command right here. If there's nothing in front of this, the uh, 
the sensor, then we're going to turn all of our LEDs off. And we're going to set the flag to zero so that our friend, the buzzer, doesn't go off. And that's it. Fort Pitt. Okay, let's power it up. Should be in good working order. And then my, uh, I'm going to use this giant LED work light as a stand-in for the car. So, oh, let me turn the light off here so you can see better. Okay. So we're, we're too close, or too far away. We're outside of the range where the thing can detect. We're getting closer. So now it determines that we're here, but we're too far from the sensor. So it says, come closer. So we come closer. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now you can't see anything, can you? All right. Let me bring this closer to the edge here. There's green. We get closer. There's yellow. We get closer. And there's the red. And I don't know how well you can hear it. There's the clicking from that sensor. But yeah. Whoops. So that is the Arduino parking sensor. And in my opinion, anyway, this is an easy, cool little project that you could put together, use for your car. You could put it together with your kids, whatever you want to do. Some reason it doesn't like to detect my hands so much. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Hey, if you're not yet a patron, check out the link down below. Dollar a month, you know, buy me a Coke. And it gets us to buy the little bits that we need here and there. And honestly, it also helps pay the bills. So I'm appreciative to everybody who's ever donated through Patreon. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.